What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, the Indianapolis Colts bring in another re-signing. Was talking about this earlier, about this maybe being the day that it could happen. And cornerback Kenny Moore will be re-signed by the Indianapolis Colts. They're bringing him back on a three-year extension worth $30 million. So about $10 million per year. And that will make him the highest paid slot corner in NFL history. Guys, I mean, this was this was pretty much a given. Indy said that this was one of their priorities that they wanted to have done was Kenny Moore. And now you bring him back, solidifying that corner, that nickel corner spot. I'm really impressed with the deal. I didn't think that we would get him for under 10 for under 11 million dollars a year looking just at some of the corner market and seeing just how some of these players have done with their contracts i mean obviously kenny's getting up there in age but he has still produced at a very high level given what he's asked to do and he's still one of the better corners in the nfl overall with the best slot corner in the nfl and I surely did not think that this guy was going to be signed for $10 million or less. But to get him at $10 million a year for the next several years is a very good contract. I think that this it puts us, I think, somewhere in the low to high 20 area or low to mid 20s for cap space still left. So we'll continue to monitor that. We'll kind of bounce that cap thing off a little bit here in a little bit once we officially get all the numbers for the deal. But, you know, the Colts are really bringing back their own uh, right now. And that is one of the big cornerstones that Indy was trying to bring back. Now, what else do they do with the rest of the secondary? That's up for debate right now. Indy still needs help in the safety area. We don't know if they're going to bring back Julian Blackman or not, but... Will this take them out of the Sneed rumors that we're hearing? Absolutely not. Indy can still afford to bring Legereus Sneed over in a trade if they want to. No doubt that they can still do it. It's And that might be a question that we'll have to keep asking a little bit later on. But Destin Adams was being told that multiple teams began expressing interest in signing Kenny Moore since free agency opened so much so that the Colts had some fear that he could be poached away. It says in the end, both sides wanting wanted back together and he stays in. So, Hey, I mean, th- I'm telling you the the market for Kenny Moore was definitely uh, very high, you know, despite the fact that he's about to be 29 years old, he's still one of the best corners in the NFL. And he's always been extremely valuable for this Indianapolis Colts team. And I I definitely am happy that Indianapolis brought him back in a much better deal than I thought he was going to get. This is about what I thought he should get and what he was going to get. And what I wanted him to get was around eight to 10 million. So getting him on that deal, good deal. Uh, Another cornerstone is still here for Indianapolis, but we will continue to monitor the remainder as we go along, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. Kenny Moore will be back with the Indianapolis Colts on a three-year deal for $30 million. Let me know your thoughts on this signing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, go Colts.